आई एम उषा पाठक एल्डर्स प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय रेस्पेक्ट एंड लव टू यंगर्स टुडे आई एम टीचिंग यू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एडजेक्टिव्स मे बी डिवाइडेड इनटू सिक्स क्लासेस नेमली कॉमन प्रॉपर नुमेरल प्रोनोमिनल पार्टिसिपल एंड कंपाउंड कॉमन एडजेक्टिव is any ordinary epithet or objective denoting quality or situation as good bad peaceful esteem western outer inner etc a proper adjective is an adjective formed from a proper name as american english platonic etc proper adjectives like proper nouns may be used in a general sense as french live british plug etc a numeral adjective is an adjective that expresses a definite number as 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc Numeral adjectives are subdivided into two main classes definite and indefinite definite numerals denote some exact number those which show how many things there as 1 2 3 4 etc are called cardinals those which show the serial order are called ordinals as first second third fourth etc those which show how often a thing is repeated are called multiplic multiplicative as one only single twofold double threefold treble triple fourfold etc in definite numerals denote number of some kind without saying precisely what the number is all some enough no none many few several sundry all main are mortal some main are die young no main were present ten main will be enough many main are poor few main are rich several main come sundry main went away a definite numeral can be made indefinite by placing the word some are about before it some 20 one were present the word some enough all no are adjective of number or of quantity according to the noun following if the noun is material or abstract the at uh, the adjective is quantitative if the adjective is numeral quantitative much he had much bread little he had little bread enough he had enough bread some he had some bread no he had no bread all he had all the bread any have you had any bread numerals many he had many loaves few he had few loaves enough he had loaves enough some he had some loaves no he had no loaves all he had all the loaves any did you bring any loaves a pronominal adjective is a definite word which may either accompany its noun or represent it understood as all join to guard what each desire to gain 
a participial adjective is one that has the form of a participle but differs from it by rejecting the idea of time as an amusing story a lying divination a compound adjective is one that consists of two or more words joined together either by the hyphen or solidity as nut brown laughter loving four folded three fold lord like etc according to j c nasfield classification there are seven kinds of adjectives proper descriptive a thing by some proper no noun descriptive showing of what quantity or in what state a thing is quantitative showing how much of a thing is meant numeral showing how many things or in what order demonstrative showing which or what thing is meant interrogative asking which or what thing is meant distributive showing that things are taken separately or in separate lots quantitative adjective the only adjectives of this class are much little no some any enough or sufficient all or whole half etc as he ate much bread he ate little bread a half loaf is better than none bread he ate some bread he did not eat any bread he ate enough or sufficient bread he ate all the bread no as always followed by a noun and is therefore an adjective none is never followed by a noun and is therefore a pronoun it is a negative pronoun now demonstrative adjective these restrict the application of a noun to those person or thing that are intended to be pointed out by the adjective they are subdivided like numerals into two classes definite or indefinite when a person or thing is pointed out exactly as this man the adjective is called a definite demonstrative when it is pointed out in a certain sense but not exactly it is called an indefinite demonstrative definite demonstrative singular plural the the this this that those such such the same or self same the same or self same the other the other indefinite demonstrative singular and plural a n one any any a certain certain such and such some such and such some another any other other any other jesse nasfield has classified articles under demonstrative adjectives now interrogative adjective these restrict the application of a noun by asking a question what book is that which book do you like best what has a general sense which a selective one what can also be used in a exclamatory senses as what folly it 
can also be used when no question is asked as I do not know at what time he came. Now distributive adjective. Distributive adjective shows that the person or thing denoted by the noun are taken singly or in separate lots. There are only four adjectives of this class. Each one or two or of any number exceeding two. For example, the two men had each a gun. The twenty men had each a gun. Every never used of few denotes each without exception. For example, every man had a gun every six hour and similar expression. This means every space of six hours. Six hours being taken collectively as one period. He came every five hours. Now every other. This means every second or each alternate as he was attacked with fever every other day now either one of two or each of two that is both for example you can take either side that is one side or the other the river over followed on either side that is on both sides now neither this is the negative of it either you should take neither side neither this nor that the proper adjectives or in many instances capable of being converted into declinable nouns as european a European, the Europeans, Greek, a Greek, the Greeks, but with the word English, French, Dutch, Scotch, Welsh, Irish, and in general, all such as would acquire an additional syllable in their inclination the case is otherwise the gentile noun has frequently fewer syllable than the adjective but seldom more unless derived from some different root for example arabic and arab the arabs danish a dane the danes moorish a moor the moors Polish, a Pole, the Poles. Turkish, a Turk, the Turks. When we say that the English, the French, the Dutch, the Irish, meaning the English people, the French people, etc. Many grammarians conceive that English, French, etc. are inclinable nouns, but it is better to reckon them adjectives relating to the noun, main or people understood. Now, numeral adjective. The numeral adjectives are of three kinds, namely cardinal, ordinal and multiplicative. Cardinal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. Ordinal 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, etc. Multiplicable Multiplicative Single or alone Double or twofold Triple or threefold, etc. But some are usually written with a hyphen as 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold, etc. 
of the pronominal adjectives each every and either are called distributive because though they imply all the persons or things that make up a number they consider them not as one whole but as taken separately these that former later both neither are termed demonstrative because they point out precisely the subjects to which they relate please subscribe my channel like share with your friends